is your birthday. This is your week. It's a, but uh, you know, every time I every time I go out on the road with Roy, you know, me and the other guys, we're always trying to ply him for stories because he's played with everyone, everybody. And you know, my hero. I, I grew up with uh, my dad had seventy eight RPM vinyl of uh, Dizzy Gillespie and Charlie Parker, uh, of the Billy Eckstein big band. Uh, Bud Powell was playing there. Sarah, young Sarah Vaughn was still in with the Billy Eckstein big band. <clears throat> and um, but anyway, Bud Powell was one of the first pianists I heard, and I loved him right away. But I was too I was too small to try and play all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So. So, but later on, I, I tried to, to learn from Bud, but then when I worked with Roy, I knew Roy had played in, uh, with Bud before you worked with Bird, right? Uh, you worked with Bud before you worked yes, with Bird. Yes, because I think that recording that I did with Bud Powell was early 49. I didn't join Bird until uh, later on in 1949. Later on, 49. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier. See, you got 49. Wow, you got 49 down. <laughs> yeah. So, so, but the story I like is that, that now you tell me if I'm right, is that Roy was working with the Bud Powell Trio at what what was that club across from the Three Deuces? The Onyx. The Onyx. The Onyx. The Onyx. The Onyx. We're talking about here in New York City in, in the day, in, in the 40s, and it was the Onyx. And, uh, what was, what was that, 52nd Street? On 52nd Street, right. And um, you were working with the Bud Powell Trio, and then someone from Bird's Band came in to say, Charlie Parker wants you in his band. Yeah, that's, that was first was Max Phelps that wanted me to replace him with Charlie Parker. It was, I think, October of 1949, yes. <laughs> But you turned the gig down at first. At first, well, Max asked me, and actually I was happy playing with Bud Powell. I think we had, Sonny Stitt was playing alto, and he was really hot then. And uh, Billy Eckstein was headlining that particular gig at the uh, Onyx. Wow. And uh, we were, you know, like the intermission group, but it was hot. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so why uh, change, right? Exactly. We're all in our 20s, you know. But then... <laughs> oh. What happened now? Well, the, you, you, <laughs> told, you told me, you told me, you yeah, told me, but, but then Bird himself came Oh, in. Charlie Parker came, oh yes, I forgot to say, Charlie Parker came over himself and asked me to join his band, and I said yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you see, so, you know, uh, you know, and then I, I grew, you know, I came up in the 60s around New York, and you, you were already, you know, part of my hero group, and and so when we got to work together, I always wanted you to tell me stories about Bud and Bird, yeah. and, you know. Did I ever tell you any more stories? Anyway. <laughs> I'm, I'm always ready for, for, you know. But did I tell you, remember me telling you any more stories is the question. Yeah. Uh, can you remember those? Yeah. No? I don't remember that. I remember the, I re <laughs> were, were they uh, cool enough to talk about them now? Or? Yeah. No. Yeah, I mean, what about, what about when you, what about when you, uh, uh, when you went in the studio with Train and recorded those pieces with Train. Oh, you're changing it up. You're talking oh, yeah. about Train now. Train would have been in the 60s. 60s, yeah. We went ahead about 15 years. Oh, well, that's cool. <laughs> Straight yeah. ahead, as the yeah. expression goes. Because, there, you know, Elton was Train's main drummer, but Rory was the drummer that was Train's choice, and for for when Elvin was whatever he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> when he was available. <laughs> Those were some beautiful records. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't want, uh, I was, I think, in Europe someplace, and we were traveling on a bus, and uh, some of the others had a particular one with train that you don't hear too much about. And I was in the back of the bus, and any time I hear something like that, it just kicks my butt. I mean, emotionally, it, it affects me. Yeah, to hear, especially when we're, uh, you know, hooked up. It's, yeah. Oh man, it's a heck of a thing. I'm telling you. You know. Yeah. Heck of a period. Excuse my back to you guys on this side. Am I cool? But is my back cool? Let's go. Let's go. Uh, they told us we had ten minutes about. Uh, over 10 minutes ago. <laughs> so I, think, I think that may help people, you know, check anytime 
you play these places, you know, the Lions is probably outside waiting. Oh, you know? uh, no, I know. So, well, so they said, oh, well, they pissed because they think you're here. Oh, well, come on. <laughs> uh, they know that you're here. Oh, really? That all of us are here. Yeah. 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 It, it's not just a one man. <laughs> but I'm glad, I'm glad you've been here. You're a delightful audience. And, uh, We'll be here for a couple of days, so if you didn't have enough, <laughs> come back mañana. <laughs> Tomorrow? No, 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 no. I, I think that concludes this set because they told me they didn't want us to be overdrawn. Yeah. Music wise. One more short one. Happy 80th! Happy 80th!